Obviously, if you look at what's happening here, um, inflation, inflation everywhere and no sanity to be found. Uh, you have the Biden administration coming out there and saying, well, yes, the price of chicken may be up 60 percent and pork is up and, 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 and all manner of things are up. Beef is up through the roof. Uh, they don't care about that. They want to think that's normal. Now you got families in poverty. They can't even afford the diapers to keep the baby clean. Uh, how do we actually make heads or tails of this to get people living on those fixed incomes to understand, hey, seniors, can you buy as much with that Social Security check today than you could yesterday? And to those working families, can you keep a roof over your family's head as easily as you could four years ago? Well, Joe, you know, and, and I agree with what Dave said. We're exactly right. We, we've got a federal government just prints money like we have it, which we don't. Uh, we're going to get over $40 trillion here soon. I remember the Comptroller General in 2012, a Democrat appointed by Barack Obama, sitting in my office saying, we're going to have a fiscal calamity in the next 20 years. We're getting there. We're very close. And, and the reasons are very simple. We're spending too much. Inflation's going up. And then we've got a supply of people who would rather sit back home. Let's face it, the federal government is funneling money to state governments, local governments. They're not cutting costs. They're just spending, and, uh, and people aren't going to work. We have a system here in Ohio, the unemployment system, that's totally broken. I was with a driver the other day who handed me his phone and said, look here, uh, Jim, uh, I, I just got $4,000 of unemployment compensation, and I didn't even ask for it. Um, I have a funny story. I actually got unemployment insurance and never asked for it. So we got a couple of variables out there that are causing problems in Ohio, but nationally that are that are serious. And, you know, people would rather stay home. They're concerned about COVID. And at the same time, as inflation goes up, cost goes up, these diapers are going to be expensive. But I feel sorry, as you said, Joe, for the people that have that fixed income. 